garden tour. I have some carrots. They came up just voluntarily. I put some in there last year, but they never came up. But they came up about a month or so ago. So I put some more seeds in there that has nothing. This is my garlic. And today I added some more onions in the back. I think I added white onions back there. This is golden ball turnips and radishes. I have, I gotta thin those out. I didn't realize I put them in a big bunch, but they fell, so the turnips are in the back. Then the radishes are here in the front. These are the red onions. They were the little bulb starts, which from watching videos I heard they're not going to turn into onions, but I don't know. I planted them in September last year, and I planted some red onions that I had from the grocery store that I cut the bottoms. I put them in the back, and I put a few red onion seeds in there as well today, so hopefully they grow. Still catching my rainwater to water my plants. I'm going to get me a rain bucket. My county is giving them away, but it's not until July. Just cleaned this out with these weeds over there. Got those rain buckets too. I don't know what I'm going to put in this one or in this one. And my sweet potatoes in there last year and had tomatoes in that one, but not sure what I'm putting in this year. This back row was Malabar spinach, never came up, so I put some more seeds in there today. And then the row before it, today I put in some uh, muslin, so it's just a package of different greens and lettuce. So I put that in. I have my collards and dino kale. My collards have started to bolt. And then I have my ginger that I planted last year in September. Um, so I have ginger in two spots in this bed and then the bed, those little containers. This was a volunteer that I found um, a couple of weeks ago, like right there. So I just moved in and put it up there. That's that salad bowl lettuce that grew over there last year. Um, that looks like a I don't know what that is. I'm going to pull that up. But I got one onion that I planted right there. And it's growing. Here is my collard green that has bolted. I'm saving it for some seeds and then I'm going to cut it down. That's another one. Just never grew. And so I moved it. These are some green beans that I planted. They're all bush variety. These got leggy when I was growing them, so I don't know what they're going to do. But I put them in the ground anyway because I have no idea. This is my third year gardening. So these are con contenders. These two are blue lakes. And I accidentally, for that one right there, I accidentally chopped the leaves off when I was headed over here. I was flicking dirt around and actually broke it. Put it in there anyway. I don't know what it's going to do. Then here... I put a row of seeds, which is the contender beans, the bush variety, because I love them so much. And then I tried these red dragon, or drag, something dragon. Uh, what is this? Dragon tongue. So these are dragon tongue. I had two of these, and then I put two more seeds there. And then I have two rows of spinach not for sure what kind it is but they took forever to come out the ground but i do have one two three four five six seven eight eight of them that popped up so that's it for that that's where i hit that tomato in last year haven't done anything for that yet i had my marigold in there last year i'm gonna still gonna put some more flowers in there i just need to put some more dirt just for the pollinators these are still my carrots from last year. I've been getting a few out, but they, they're small. I think I might have had them too close together. That one looks kind of big, but I've got most of them out, but those are the few that's left. But they did overwinter well. That one looks kind of big. No, it's not. 
like it looks like it started new leaves. But those are my carrot. These are my three new beans that I got this year. And I started some more spinach because I eat a lot of spinach, but it may be too hot for them soon because we're in Georgia and it's been cold. Um, but it gets hot quick. Might skip spring because we got down cold last night, but hopefully that's it. It's the 10th of April. So I planted a bunch of rows of that. Then I planted some zinnias. Some, I think they're called white bear or something. But I planted a row of those. So Cole got that one. But that one survived. I planted one on each side of this. And then though, he, one died. And then two survived the cold last night. I planted today a bunch of red Russian kale. I think I did four rows here. And I tried to plant some in the house. But they just died for some reason. So I said I just throw my stuff outside. Like I normally do. Um, don't have anything in this spot yet. Don't have anything in this spot yet. But I put my corn out. And it's six of them. That one just didn't germinate too good. But hopefully it come up so I put it in the ground. But I have six of those. I'm not a big corn eater but I want to grow it and see what it do. I might have moved them too early. If I did I just plant some more. Because corn likes heat and it ain't really all that hot. So we'll see what that do. Don't have anything in no other beds, but I just wanted to show you the beds. This one I'm composting in place here. So I got two heels just because I'm gonna put my tomatoes in these beds here. I got a bunch of different kinds of tomatoes this year. Um, so I'm putting them in these beds here. In here this whole bed probably is going to be tomatoes and then what have I put in front of them yeah I have not filled this bed yet because I'm going to do a video on how I fill my bed and I put leaves in the bottom of them put that down I don't know if I should have but I did I'm trying to kill the weeds I might need to poke some holes in it and then I put um, this was from my okra plants I just put that in the bottom and I don't have the black um, weed covering on this one. It's just the cardboard. So I'm going to wet that down and then put dirt in it. But I'm going to make a video and show you how to feel. Because these beds are humongous. Nothing in here. This is where I had my okra last year. This is where I tried to grow spaghetti squash last year. Didn't come up. I think I put some carrots in here. But I ain't for sure. But they never came up. I've been composting in place. Been composting in place here too. This, I don't know what that is. I think it's a weed. But I had potatoes in here last year. So first I thought it was potatoes coming up. But I don't think it is. But it needs to be amended and more soil added to it because it's low. This is my dino kale that has gone to seed. Turned into a big old tree. So it got a little leaves on there. So it growed all over winter. I planted it last summer. So this is where I had a tomato plant last year. So I'm going to put something else in there this year. Not for sure what, but something. Am I just my two buckets of water? This is where I had my tomato roll last year. But I'm not going to put tomatoes in here this year. And that one I had. Um, two um okra plants in that one and it did pretty good i put two here and two up on the hill to see which one do better they did about the same because this one is shaded by the house and my tomato plants last year didn't do that well but i planted an onion in here one of those little bulb onion things you get i got them from lowe's last year and it's that's as big as it got compared to the ones that's in the grow grow bags which I think stuff grows better in them because it circulates around the roots. But that's all I got in that. That's an empty bucket that I had something in it. Uh, this is my citronella. They say come back, but I don't know if it's going to come back. I've been watering it. This is my rosemary that died last year. I put some more rosemary seeds in there, so we'll see if they come up. This is parsley that popped up somewhere, so I just moved it and put it there. 
I put some some kind of herbs there. I can't remember which oregano maybe I put here. This is coriander from last year. Um, see, this is one of the other onions. And here I had thyme last year, so I put some more seeds in there. I don't know if it'll come back or not. One of my sage plants came back. One there did not. But it looks like it's budding flowers, so didn't bud flowers last year, so I don't know what that means. Anybody knows, comment below and let me know, because I'm new to gardening. So I have no idea what it means when your sage goes to flower. If it's still good, or do I need to plant some more? This is the last of my collard greens from the winter. I'm going to harvest those because they were trying to go to seeds. But I broke the seeds off before they went so I can get the rest of them from out here and the ones from out there too. I hope they're not bitter. These are the same onions from last summer. They're not bubbing so I think they're not because it's the first year and they came from them little buds. But they haven't gone to seed, so let's see what they do. This is my elephant ear. It came back. These are a bunch of starch that I started in a house with all of my tomato plants and okra and peppers. So they haven't gotten their true leaves. Uh, only the okra has some true leaves and a few of the tomato plants, but I'm scared to put them out because it was cold yesterday in the 30s. And these are the rest of my tomato, I mean onions, and these are my bunching onions from last year. They overwintered well. I prune them back. I just cut the greens like I do yeast. I cut these back too, and they keep growing. And I didn't know that last year that I was supposed to cut them back. So anybody that got onions, you're supposed to cut these back so it can continue to spiral around. Anyway, and last but not least. This is my other centronella and then some more parsley which probably is going to go to seed. This was just overwintered in here from last year. And that is it for my garden tour. Oh, and I got some more stars up here too. I'm going to do some green beans that are not bush. And I'm probably going to put them over there and let them run up the fence. But not sure. And then those are all of my seeds. I keep them in bags and my journal. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.